Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors with this epic delicacy. In this video we will be combining afang leaves, otherwise called ukazi leaf and water leaf to make a delicious afang soup. And so guys, wear your apron and let's get started. To begin, here we have some goat's meat which we're going to season with some chicken bouillon and a half teaspoon of salt with some roughly blended habanero pepper we're going to add to this going to give that a good mix then we're going to add some little water to this and allow it to cook until it is tender After the goat meat has cooked for like 20 minutes, I'm now going to add some already cleaned stockfish to this and give it a very good mix and cover it to cook for another 10 minutes. Add some little water to this so it cooks very very well. It's been 10 minutes now and I'm now going to add Bomo and our first batch of crayfish. You see this afang soup? I've come to notice that this afang soup is in three stages. So steaming the meat is the first stage. This Bomo and this crayfish now is like okay it's the first stage then the water leaf is the second stage then the afang soup is the third stage then this soup has stages and stages and stages so guys let's continue now we're going to add palm oil so we are now on the first we're still on the first stage so we'll add this palm oil and cover this soup to cook for like give and take like five minutes then we'll be back for the second stage <laughs> and now we are on the second stage of this afang soup so i'm now going to add this isam the reason why I add this isam now is because I want the soup sauce to soak into this isam so that when you're soaking it, mm -mm -mm, you first of all taste the juice of the isam before the isam comes into your mouth. Then I'm now going to arrange our dry fish properly into this pot. Arrange it well because we're not going to stir this pot. Then the second stage now we're adding the crayfish. This crayfish is very important because that's where the afan taste comes from. We're now going to add our roughly blend, blended habanero pepper. This one I added, I mix the red and the yellow habanero pepper to give it more flavor. And now I'm going to add the water leaf. After adding this water leaf, we're not going to stir it. We're not going to turn it. You just cover the pots, allow this water leaf to cook for a certain period of time before we continue the process. All ingredients for this recipe will be in the description box and I want to thank my returning subscribers. Thank you so, so much for your support. 
thank you so much for subscribing i really really appreciate it seriously i really do appreciate it thank you so much for the encouragement god bless you now that the water leaf has been cooking for some certain period of time I'm going to give it a stir. Gently put all together. Man, this pot is too small for this affine soup. I need to change this pot into a bigger one. <laughs> so we're going to give this a very good stir. And since we're in the second stage of this affine soup, we're going to add some palm oil to the soup. And cover it and leave that to cook for like two minutes. It's been two minutes now and it's now time to add the afang leaf which has been blended with enough crayfish. You see this soup requires plenty of crayfish and plenty of palm oil and so if you're watching your oil, <laughs> how much oil you take, maybe this soup is not right for you but it's a very very healthy dish because of the vegetables and so after putting all the ukaze and the water leaf together, give that a very good stir. We're finally going to add some more palm oil to this because this is the third stage, the final stage. Yeah, it's in stages. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and some crayfish maggi. Going to give that a very good mix. Going to turn off the heat because this soup is ready. This can be served with fufu, gari, pando, samu. Guys, enjoy your meal. I want to thank you so much for stopping by to watch my videos. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel. For more recipes like this, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and cheers, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.